Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. Let us see how to give IUPAC name for the given ether. To give IUPAC name, certain rules are there. We need to follow the rules. According to the rules, we need to find that longest hydrocarbon chain. If there is a functional group, the functional group should get the lowest number. If the substituents are present, the substituents are named based on their alphabetical order. Here, you can see that there is a oxygen containing compound. This is called as ether. According to that IEPAC system, ethers are considered as the substituted aryl oxy or alkoxy hydrocarbon derivatives. So first let us use the format. The format which contains prefix, then root, then suffix. See whenever that ether is present, the longest hydrocarbon is used as the parent chain. Then the lowest one considered as the ether group. This contains the lowest number of carbon, but this one considered as the cyclohexane, considered as the longest hydrocarbon. So it is a parent chain. So that root word, root word is hex. Then the suffix. This ether is not considered as the functional group. It is a prefix substituted compounds. So that suffix only that there is no double bond. So A N E hexane is used. If we come to the prefix, we have that primary and secondary. In that primary, this is a cyclic compound. So cyclo, the word cyclo is used. Then that secondary, we have the two substituents. So if you look at the two substituents, here C2H5 is also present ethyl group and then methyl group is present even though based on that alphabetical order ethyl group gets the higher priority but here we have to see that there is more branching is present so this we are going to give that lowest number one so two three four five six so we go to write that for the secondary prefix one one dimethyl then in the second position, we have that 2 ethoxy. So we can name the compound using this format 2 ethoxy. Then after that, 1 1 dimethyl. Then cyclohexane. 2 ethoxy 1 1 dimethyl cyclohexane is the IEPAC name for the given ether. Thanks for watching.